Hey everyone, welcome to Day Deal on Display. Today we are going to be taking a look at the Urban Armor Gear composite case for the Samsung Galaxy S3. You are more than welcome to check out the composite case over at its official website at any time. And that is going to be located at www.urbanarmorgear.com. Dot com. As always, we also encourage you to check out this case on our own website, which is going to be located at www.daydeal.com. Let's go and start off this video by giving you the unofficial measurements for the composite case on the Samsung Galaxy S3 right now. We typically would love to give you guys the official measurements from the manufacturer if they are available, but unfortunately there are none for this particular case. So we had to measure the composite case by ourselves and these are the numbers that we came up with. Take them as they are. They are merely approximations and not meant to be 100% accurate, but hopefully you get the general idea of what you will be getting if you decide to use this on your phone. Starting with the weight of the case that is going to come in at 35 and a half grams, its length 140 and a half millimeters. It's width 74 and a half millimeters, its depth at 14. What does this mean to you in the real world? If you decide to use a composite case on your Galaxy S3 phone, you will be adding 3.9 millimeters to the length, 3.9 millimeters to the width, and finally 5.4 millimeters to the depth of your phone. So hopefully you find this information useful. I'm going to go ahead and move that aside and continue on with the colors that the composite case is available in. Now as of this video's creation, there are three colors that the composite case is out or available now. That is going to be white, black, and this lovely orange color. You may not find those by those descriptions, meaning that uh, UAG has their own particular names for these colors. So white is actually going to be Navigator, black is actually Scout, and this lovely orange is actually called Outland. Okay, and that's actually my own personal favorite color. So feel free to check this out over at the official website. Now since UAG is a very young company, uh, we hope that they will release three other colors that we've seen them uh, do so already for the iPhone 4 and the 4S in the future for the S3. And as a matter of fact, if you visit the urbanarmorgear.com website right now, you will not even see any hints of the Galaxy S3 even being on there, okay? So don't be afraid. Uh, just go ahead and realize or acknowledge that this case does exist. If you are interested in it, you're gonna have to either do some searching around the main site to finally get a link to the official product page for these cases or just visit us at daydeal.com. You can go and take our word for it and uh, see these cases listed on there as well so you can find out more information on them. So with all that uh, information thrown your way, I know it's a lot to take in, let's go ahead and continue on with the included bonuses. Okay, now the UAG does come with a small little screen protector kit, very, very tiny. That you can see right here, a uh, minute applicator card with an equally minute gray microfiber cleaning cloth that's actually sandwiched in between these two sheets right here. You have a little illustrated guide to show you how to install the screen protector properly and you actually get the screen protector itself for your Galaxy S3. So this is always nice to see uh, thrown in with cases because it makes it a more complete kit and it makes it a better value overall. Now the composite case can best be described as a hybrid case. It consists of two different materials, thermoplastic polyurethane as well as uh, polycarbonate I should say. And the design of the composite case from UEG is done so well that you would notice that the uh, polycarbonate as well as the thermoplastic polyurethane are really in balance. And I know this sounds kind of weird, but most uh, hybrid cases out there, you usually get an inner layer of thermoplastic polyurethane and you usually get an outer layer of polycarbonate. But this particular composite case is done so in a way where you actually have a pretty even balance. On the inside, that's actually polycarbonate from the outside in. And then that's thermoplastic polyurethane sticks out enough along the edges as well as the top and the bottom where we would say it's actually sticking on the outside of the case as well because it does create kind of a bumper edge. So it's a really nice design. I really uh, like this design. Design, and I hope that uh, UAG does release the other uh, color schemes as well for this case because it deserves it. Okay. Now I'm not a fan of matte finishes on cases. Okay. I usually like a glossy appearance uh, on a cell phone accessories. That's just my personal preference. There is no right or wrong to this. But this particular composite case really kind of wins me over to the matte side because it has a really professional look to it, very a nice feel uh, to it as well. But more importantly, it's not white plastic with a painted color on top of it. Okay. They used. Uh, for example, on this outline orange color, an orange polycarbonate all the way through, it just looks really nice, has that nice consistency to it. And when you see it up close uh, and person, it kind of looks like they took a toolbox, uh, ripped out all of that uh, colored plastic, and then just kind of made a case out of it. So it's really, really nice looking. And I think that industry type of design is what they're kind of looking at or looking at trying to imitate because you can see these screws right here, even though they are fake, that's what they were going for. So it's a really nice appearance, aesthetically speaking. 
Now, outside of appearances, uh, does this actually protect your phone in any way, shape, or form? Yes, it is. This is what we would consider a very high-quality hybrid case. Uh, it is in line with the Pure Gear Dual Tech case that we reviewed earlier. Uh, that is one of our favorite hybrid cases up to this point. And now the UAG composite case is a rival to that. I wouldn't say this is better than the Pure Gear Dual Tech, but they're about the same level. Okay, this one actually has better colors for it, in my personal opinion. But the Pure Gear Dual Tech is a little bit more flexible, and do we prefer? prefer that uh, case overall just a little bit more due to its flexibility what i'm trying to get at is that even though the uag composite is really nice you can't be as abusive uh to it as you can with the pure uh, gear and dual tech okay so that's all i want to say so enough of my uh jibber jabber right here let's go and remove the uh retail boxes out of the way let's just go ahead and line up the phone right now and put it inside the composite case and then turn it back on and show you how it all works out there we go so starting with the front of the phone, you will notice that the uh, composite case creates a very lovely lip that is even all along the sides as well as the edges and the top and bottom of the front screen area. And remember, you are supposed to be using this in conjunction with the screen protector that they give you. So with all intents and purposes, your phone is in good hands as far as the screen is concerned. So if you happen to rest your phone on its face like so, it is going to be elevated up and away slightly from the surface you are resting it against. But more importantly, should you happen to drop your phone with a nice, even, thick, consistent lip like that, you really shouldn't worry. Hopefully that lip should catch the impact first. And should anything bypass that, uh, the screen protector should do its job. Moving on to the top of the case, you're going to see a nice a large opening for the audio jack. This is actually very large, so straight, as well as annual connector tips will work out just fine. And there is the uh, somewhat small opening uh, for the noise cancellation microphone. Now there are coverings on the side, one for the power button as well as the uh, volume up and down switch, and they are individually labeled, which is kind of nice. Unfortunately, we found the button presses on the composite case to be a little bit delayed. They're not as clicky and they're not as responsive, okay? They do do their job, but you do have to press down on them a little bit and uh, they don't register right away. So it's not the end of the world, just kind of keep that in mind that you do need to press these buttons with a little bit of force. Moving on to the bottom, we have a, a nice cutout for the uh, USB port, as well as one for the main microphone. Could have been a little bit larger, but it is what it is. Moving on to the back, that beautiful finish on the composite case. Remember, it's kind of a matte finish, except for that reflective UAG logo in the center. This one has three specific cutouts, one for the LED flash camera lens and the speaker. This is exactly what we like to see. I actually prefer this design because it actually protects more of the phone. And let me just go and give you an angled side shot right here to show you the overall thickness. Because remember that this is 35 and a half grams. It feels a lot thicker than 35 and a half grams. Uh, as far as weight is concerned, but the overall profile is slimmer than what it appears to be. It's just a really, really nice, uh, well done case. And that is it, guys, for the uh, Urban Armor Gear composite case on the uh, Samsung Galaxy S3. So let's go and move everything back into view here. I'm going to go and turn this on its back because I do want to show you that lovely orange color, the Outland orange, I should say, and I give you our closing thoughts and comments. Now we know there are a lot of cases out for the Galaxy S3 right now. We know that there are a lot of hybrid cases out there right now. We would say please give this a chance. Please give it a look over. We think you'll really like it and we would uh, suggest that you wait uh, perhaps a little bit longer that UAG can probably release three more color schemes for this product if you don't like what you see in front of us, white, black, or orange. We think it's a very protective cover. We like the overall profile and the feel of it is really nicely done. We like the way that the uh, cutouts on the back are done for the camera lens, LED flash, and speaker. However, the coverings for the power button and the volume up and down could use a little bit more work. They aren't as responsive, unfortunately. Uh, that being said, this also comes with a screen protector, which is really nice. That adds extra value to this kit. Uh, and we would say don't be afraid if you've never heard of this company because they are an up-and-coming one. And uh, we like what they are offering for the S3. And we hope to see more products from them in the future. So please check this out over at the official website once more at UrbanArmorGear.com. Check it out on our own homepage as well at DayDeal.com. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and our Pinterest board. Thanks for watching as always. We will see you next video review.